So today will be part three of this little uh, dive into side quest and the home environments that you can get through side quest. The first part we did Silent Hill and the second part we did Resident Evil. So I think for today we'll do just the Minecraft ones. So I did notice a couple of them. Um, there are plenty of other ones. There's some for TV shows, there's some that are just regular environments like this. I'll save those for other videos uh, because what I also want to do is not only jump in and kind of look around, but since I am using a larger play space, I want to be able to walk around and kind of go beyond the, uh, the actual boundaries that they set up. Jump into the first Minecraft room. I have no idea what it's going to be. Oh, wow, it, it was quick. Okay, let's close that. I am outside of the room, that's why. See, again, it spawns me in a weird spot, but, well, yeah, as you can see, some of these teleportation points are outside of where they should be. All right. So this is just somebody's house, I guess. There's a pickaxe over there. Let's put this louder so I can hear. Now, Minecraft is a game I have played. Uh, I haven't played the most up-to-date versions. I, I, I played them one on Xbox 360. That was good enough for me. I wasn't, it wasn't really something that I was big on. I just enjoyed, you know, killing time. What was that? sure all right so this isn't too large to explore so let's check my boundary all right has me walking through there can I teleport no can't teleport any further all right I'm just gonna have to walk through it's always I always hesitate when I have to walk through these things I know they're not really there, but it's still, all right, it's still a challenge for me. <sighs> all right, let's walk through here. And there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, so it's not a very large space. There's some space over there. So let's make our full rotation here okay all right there we go it's kind of weird navigating in the dark like that now I did expand my play space just a little bit more it doesn't always work when I redraw it sometimes it works pretty good where I can actually kind of create these little you know pathways through the house and then sometimes it just cuts off for no reason. But, all right, so this is just, let's be careful here. Uh, all right, so it's not, there's not much here. It's just, just an empty space. And let's walk back this way. Okay, gotta be very mindful not to trip over any cats because fortunately my cats do not like to cooperate when I'm doing this, I've noticed. They can be fine all day long, quiet, sleeping. As soon as I start to do something, they decide they want to get involved. They want to make noise, they want to knock things over. And uh, God forbid I try to put them away in another room because they'll make even more noise. Is this a different picture on this side? Let's see if I can walk around this. Okay. Nope, same picture. That's neat though. And those stairs kind of go into no, no place, just an empty space. But all right. Let's 
really dark in here though. Yeah. Alright, let's move on to... Oh, let's bring the screen over here so I can see better. Let's go to the sky block, which I have seen that one already. That's how I know it's a Minecraft one. Oh, oh, that's bright. And loud. Okay. So, pretty simple. It's just, well, it's the sky. We're so high up, in fact, that I think that's supposed to be the sun down there. Music is nice, and the movement of the clouds is nice. They are missing something, though. At least from the uh, Minecraft I've played. When you get high enough up, the clouds actually, you're, you're in level with the clouds, and they kind of roll across like mist. Seems to be missing that. Be nice if you could interact with these things, though. But pretty simple. Huh. The texture of this almost looks like fabric to me. Hmm. Interesting. But not much. Not much here. The tree's nice, though. Let's get a better look this way. Again, it looks more like fabric when you look at it from a certain angle. But all right, can't sit here forever. We gotta, we gotta move it along. There are plenty of rooms to look at. So for now, I'm just gonna stick to Minecraft because if I try to look at all of these, and this isn't even half of what was on there. Uh, this is just the stuff that I found interesting. So let's go to Minecraft Village. And this gives the impression of a lot of distance, but if you look just a little more careful, carefully, you'll see that a lot of this is just flat, like drawn, and that's it. But this has some three dimensions to it. Now, let's teleport over here. Let's go over here. Huh. That's what that is. I noticed that before it would open. Oh, whoops. All right. What's funny is you can hear the, the Minecraft cat, and I think even the dog, and at least a villager or two. That glass looks weird, but they don't actually show up, so that's fine. Now, I have heard that you could actually get Minecraft for the quest by using side quest, and it's not something that is even that difficult it's just you go into side quest you see it's called uh, i forget what it's called it's a, a, a different name i think it's i think it's mine mine quest instead of minecraft it's mine quest something like that but it is something you just download into the quest however can't just play it that way. You actually still have to connect your quest to a computer, I believe, and then go into um, your Microsoft account, which I'm not even sure I have one. I mean, I, I would think I have one, but I haven't gone into it in forever. So I don't even, uh, that, that's gonna be a thing. And then you have to have an original copy of Minecraft. And if you have that, um, then there's extra steps that you do, and then you can actually play Minecraft in VR using the side quest app. But, as I said, uh, unfortunately, 
my computer just is not up to it. It's not going to do the job. The only option I have is to, uh, I can't even upgrade the computer. I have to just upgrade to a new computer. One that's running maybe Windows 10 or 11. And uh, unfortunately, computers don't seem to be as budget friendly as they were a couple years ago. In fact, most of the computers that I'm finding in stores are refurbished or uh, like new. And I'm, I'm sure they're fine. I just, if I'm going to buy a new computer, I'm going to buy a new computer. Um, that's just kind of how I am. Otherwise, I'll just wait. And it looks like I might have to wait for a while because from what I hear, the cost of computers is not going to come down anytime soon. But honestly, I'm fine with this. I'm sure once I've exhausted all of this, then, then maybe I'll be inclined to try to go further. All right. Now, there's not much I can really walk around in here, so I'm just going to move on to the next one. If I walk out, it's just going to be out there, and I'm going to be hovering. So let's go to the next one, which is... Um, where are you? There we go. Whoa, what is this? Oh, that... That made me uh, lose my balance for a second. What am I hearing? Now, I've never seen this in Minecraft, or at least the one I played. Okay. Can I teleport? Oh, I can teleport there. All right. So again, if you look hard enough, you'll realize that that's just a, a flat, like, image. Now again, these are just home environments. It's just something for you to, you know, kind of sit in while you're deciding what kind of app you're going to actually open up to play. And if this is something that, you know, you like, I guess you would just keep this on. Uh, personally, I think this is a bit much for me. I like my stuff a little bit more simplistic, um, usually calming. Yeah. All right, that was, let's try this. Now this one's not too bad. Now I apologize if you hear some sounds in the background. Those would be my cats deciding that they're going to run around and jump and be a pain in the neck. This is nice, actually. Now, the only thing that kind of messes me up here, and by that I mean kind of takes away from me wanting to keep this as a, as a more permanent uh, home environment, is the different levels. The fact that it moves like that. So if I were to go, I don't think I can go that far. If I go here and I start walking out, well now I'm just hovering in the air. And I don't really care for that. But other than that, this is, that is actually really nice. This is actually pretty nice. Now, I don't know if that is an actual um, fish design in Minecraft, my, my, Minecraft, Minecraft, uh, definitely not in the version that I remember playing, but I'm sure it, it's possible it could be an update that they had, um, and then there's that poor guy there who's just relaxing, <laughs> all right, let's try another one here, so we have that one, which is, Hmm, this is nice. I do like the, can I tell, I can't teleport to certain, I can teleport outside. See, again, I don't know if this is a problem with these home environments or if my headset is just acting up. 
but that teleportation point shouldn't be there. If anything, these points should be more centralized around here so that I can go all the way over there. I am actually going to do that. All right, let's... Okay, there we go. So let's do that. Ooh, that's cool. But let me... There we go, orient that way. That's always... That's another thing, just walking over what looks like nothing kind of tricks out at least it tricks out my mind okay let's uh, walk through this hallway here see again i have to constantly look down so i can see the outline of my boundary why does that look more realistic than everything else in other words like, why does that look more like something that's real as opposed to a Minecraft image? Is it just me? Okay, now we gotta walk this way. Alright. Okay. Now, I've learned to be real careful doing this because just because my boundary says there's no wall there doesn't mean that there's no wall there <laughs> because all right there we go because it does like to shift okay all right okay all right see this is the wall so that's it's still it's still good on this side all right the water looks weird. Definitely not the same as at least the Minecraft I remember. Okay. But that is cool. All right. Let's walk out this way. Do another full rotation here. Let's not hit that wall. It's another thing. You you get so preoccupied with the fake wall that you can see in the headset. You try to walk around it and end up walking into a real wall. I suppose over time I'll get used to that and my brain won't get tricked so easily. Hmm. Now that's another thing. There's levels down there that they clearly made. I would love to be able to go down there, but it doesn't seem to work that way. That is the second time that's happened. <sighs> Between two of the rooms, there's one of those, uh, what do you, I think that's what they're called. I think they're called thresholds. You know, the part where it goes up and then goes back down in between two rooms. Normally there's a doorway on there. Um, I took a step over that and it just happened to coincide with this emptiness. And my heart almost gave out. <laughs> For a second, it's like, it's that same feeling like when you go to, you know, you're walking down a step and you're not paying attention. And you, you think you miss a step and then your foot comes crashing down and it gives you that, that sudden like fear that you're gonna just bust your head. <laughs> yeah, that's what that, that is. Okay. Let's walk over here. I don't know which cat that is. You can't see it, but I have it set up so that if, uh, I forget what it's called. I think it's a, a space sense or something. If something is, if an object is actually there, it'll show it to me like an outline. And it's actually, 
It's actually good enough to show me that it's a cat. Okay. There we go. There's the wall again. Again, you can see down there. But you can't go down there. Alright. And we're back in here. It's really nice. This one is actually really nice. Let's jump over here and get myself reacclimated. Okay. Cool. I like it. I do like this. All right, let's jump to the next one. Because again, we want to be quick about this. See, a smarter person would have remembered what time they started doing this. But I'm not one to pretend that I'm a smart person. Is that it? I think that's it. it can't be. I, I could have sworn I counted more than that. One, two, three. Four, yeah. Five. So it was only five. Okay, so it wasn't too many. All right. Let's go back here then. I suppose it's fitting that this is the one that we end on. I think it's actually the nicest one so far. It's more, uh, this part kind of messes it up, unfortunately, for me, again, uh, because it's meant to be a centralized space, right, to represent your home environment. Uh, but the centralized space here is that and kind of ruins it. Again, just in my opinion. But all right, so that was the Minecraft home environments that you can get from SideQuest. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more, I suggest you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, if you really want to see something uh, more, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, let me know what you liked. Let me know what you disliked. Um, help guide me in the right direction is really what I'm saying. Because I am new at this and I have no idea where I'm going with this. So uh, feedback is always appreciated. Now hopefully I'll see you again in the next video. And uh, until then, take care.